Hi families, I uh, wanted to share a little bit of Bible with you today and pray for you while we all get ready to get started being created. We have a couple of interesting things coming up for you today that we're still testing, we're still in the testing phase, but I uh, just wanted to share a few things with you so we could keep our minds just centered on the right things and get ready to, to do our creativity. So, um, the verse I want to share with you, we're going to start in Philippians chapter 4, and uh, we're going to start with verse 6. Now, this is probably familiar for you, especially lately. If it's not, you're going to be really glad to hear what the Bible has to say. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 says, Do not be anxious or worried about anything, but in everything, every circumstance and situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, continue to make your specific requests known to God. So we're meant to not be anxious or concerned about anything. And in every circumstance, we're meant to make our prayer requests known to God with thanksgiving. So we need to be grateful and thankful that we know that he wants to take care of us and he wants to answer our prayers. It says, uh, verse 7 says, And then, after this is done is what it implies, the peace of God, that peace which reassures the heart, that peace which transcends all understanding, that peace which stands guard over your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus is yours. So as we choose not to be anxious about anything and we make our specific requests known to God in prayer and we're thankful and grateful for what he's done and who he is and how he's already helping us, then peace is going to rule over our hearts and minds, but not just typical, ordinary, average peace, but the kind of peace that only comes from God, that can transcend all understanding. I could use some of that right now, probably you too. And uh, Philippians 4 verse 8 says, Finally, now at the conclusion, believers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable and worthy of respect, whatever is right and confirmed by God's word, Whatever is pure and wholesome, whatever is lovely and brings peace, whatever is admirable and of good repute, if there's any excellence, if there's anything worthy of praise, think continually on these things. Center your mind on them and implant them in your heart. That's, uh, I think, the, the Bible is very clear about the answer to uh, anxiousness and worry and concern is to follow those specific steps. Decide you're not going to stay in anxiousness. Pray. Be thankful. And then the peace is going to help you to stay right in the, the middle of God's will. And you're going to choose then to only think about what's good, what's right, and what's pure. There are a lot of good things that you can be thinking about. A lot of them. There, Even in this situation, there's a, I don't know, it seems like a shift in, how frequently or vigorously people are trying to help one another. They're learning to get along with their families. I know it can be challenging at times, but we're all in close quarters for a lot of hours, day and night. And so we're learning how to get along with our families and how to understand one another and how to be compassionate and how to work together. And a lot of folks are really enjoying their family time. I see moms posting how excited they are that they have all their kids under the same roof again, and even some of them who were away at college and now they're coming back for unfortunately a really extended spring break it seems like but moms are happy that they have all of their kids under their care all at once and they feel happy in their homes that their homes are full of the people that they love that's something that you can think about and be grateful for without considering what the circumstances were that led to this we can be grateful that people are trying to help one another and checking on their neighbors and calling friends and family that they maybe haven't spoken with in a while because we've been so busy. People are learning how to come back to what's really important and live out their values and, and love others. And I think that's a really good thing. So that's just one of the ideas that you could be thinking about. I'm sure you can come up with some other things you could be grateful for and be thankful to the Lord for in the, even in this extraordinary season. And so I would encourage you, to find some things you can be grateful for. Look for things that make you feel better, or make you happy, or make you glad that God's been doing good stuff for you or through
through you or in the people that you love and we'll focus on that rather than focus on the bad news and the inconveniences and please don't spend all your time focusing on the news and even social media it can really really get to your feelings and your emotions and it can make it hard to concentrate and I don't know if you've had any time any trouble with focusing your concentration recently like I know I have I just need to make sure I discipline myself not to just consume and consume all the things that are negative and make sure I stay really healthy balanced and consume lots of things that are very positive and especially God's Word so I'm just gonna pray for you now that you're gonna find it easier and easier to do that and and that the Lord's gonna help you okay so let's pray thank you Father God for every single person who's watching this Lord I just pray for all of our precious precious families at New Creations Academy all of those who are who have been with us for a while and all of those who are now starting to join us as we're offering these uh, live videos and lessons Lord we just bless those families we bless the households Lord we bless them in Jesus name and thank you that your peace resides and is available to them in their homes and their households we thank you for protection Lord that you want to protect people who will cry out to you and and abide under the shadow of the Almighty so we just thank you for that Lord help us to focus on the good and the positive and be obedient to your word Lord because we know that's where the life is that's where our peace lies help us to catch ourselves when we're letting our thing our thoughts roam too far into the negative and we're feeding ourselves too much on the on the news and downer media and help us focus more attention on you your word and things that are positive so we can stay in the right frame of mind and we can grow in this season and we can be ministers to our families and our loved ones and our neighbors thank you for that Lord we just bless your name thank you God in Jesus name amen okay so um, we have a couple of more tests for Facebook Live and then maybe even an online classroom coming up today and tomorrow and we're hoping to get started with that uh, online lesson at 11:30 tomorrow Wednesday with some realistic drawing Anna's going to get on there and she's going to she's going to give it a try so be patient with us and I hope you tune in and share this uh, with other friends and family because lots of folks are still looking for things that they can do that are positive and are going to help them learn and grow in this season even though there are challenges so we appreciate you guys and we'll talk to you really soon uh, see you very soon we'll let you know about the Facebook live coming up today thanks be blessed